We are happy you are here again. We are joined as always by Greg Engert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group. The group includes where we are, Blue Jacket, the Arsenal downstairs, of course, GBD and Iron Gate in DuPont Circle. Greg, it is always good to see good you. Good to see you too. The James Beard Award nominee, by the way, too, if I didn't mention that. What do we have on tap this week? So this week, uh, we have a beer that's probably not seasonally appropriate, but like I always say, um, just because it's hot outside doesn't mean it's hot inside. So you can drink 12.5% bourbon barrel age Belgian quadruples, um, even if it's 100 degrees outside. Uh, but uh, I wanted to pour some Firestone Walker Sticky Monkey because this 2015 vintage of this beer, this wonderful blended beer, has just become available. And so it's on the shelves now, so I figured uh, it's a good time to try it. Um, but um, yeah, so Sticky Monkey, Firestone Walker, Firestone Walker from Central Coast, California, Paso Robles. And uh, let's give it a okay. taste here. Try swirling it. They make good stuff. Look that real oh, rich. Yeah. I mean, when I, if I say raisins, people some people might yeah. go, Ugh, but it doesn't taste like. Do raisins. people not like raisins? <laughs> I don't Is that eat a them a lot anymore. Yeah, I, yeah. I gave up raisins when I was a eight, kid. Right? Yeah. But, raisin uh, brand. No, I. Still, oh, totally I raisin love raisin brand still. Sure, raisins are good. This is, um, yeah, I mean, it's totally. it's not just raisins. It's figs and like yeah. dark fruit plum, uh, a little bit of cherry. So this is their Belgian style quadruple. It's a big beer. I think the original gravity on it is like 28 degrees Play-Doh, which is high. I mean, that's, it's a big, huge beer. That's that richness on the palate. It ferments out probably to like around 10%, and then the bourbon barrel aging kicks it up to about 12 and a half on this particular blend. That always changes from year to year. Um, but uh, yeah, a Belgian style base. So that the, the, the Belgian yeast that's employed is gonna give you all that kind of dark fruit and spice character. Um, and then it's aged in a host of different bourbon and I think also brandy barrels. And the, for the bourbon, you've got Woodford, Elijah Craig, and Four Roses barrels um, coming together. What's one of the more interesting things about this beer is that it was originally designed as a blending beer. Um, so. Firestone Walker started in 1996, so they're coming up on their 20th anniversary next year. In 2006, to uh, celebrate their 10th anniversary, they released the first of uh, what would become an annual anniversary ale. So the 10th anniversary ale came out in 2006, and what it was was a blend of not just one particular type of beer and one particular type of barrel, but a number of different beers in a number of different um, kinds of barrels, and they've done that ever since. So. Um, what's, what's really fascinating and something that I think is, is, is lesser known is that they've actually developed particular styles of beer to put in barrel because they think that, and they're right, later on those beers can be brought back to blend for the anniversary beer. So Sticky Monkey was only developed originally to go into barrel and then blend into the anniversary ale. Um, last year, uh, so this is the 2015, this just came out, um, but last year's uh, barrel um, anniversary beer which would have been, uh, I guess, 18, antique anniversary, involved 227 different barrels and nine different beers in those barrels. So, I mean, just imagine, I can't even fathom the possibilities of different blends that they even considered. But I think then what ends up happening is that they have some extra sticky monkey. This ended up being 14% of the 18th anniversary blend. So they probably have some that they didn't use so they blend that up and release this delicious beer um, the following spring. What would you pair it with? This is, uh, well, it's funny, ever since you said figs, early on, I've just been thinking about like, what is awesome about like um, figs? What does fig go great with? And think of like, I was thinking about fig and prosciutto, which made me think of like, pan, uh, like bacon and pancetta. So I can see doing this with like a big bacon cheeseburger. Blue cheese and figs go great hand in hand. So maybe a bacon blue burger. We could also do it with like um, carbonara. Think of that like the pancetta, Parmesan cheese, things that are kind of bigger for that. And also rosemary, thyme, those kind of herbs are awesome with these flavors. So maybe, you know, some lamb chops with rosemary would be excellent as well. How about something with a, a port wine glaze on oh, it? Oh, it'd be killer. Like you can even just glaze it with this, actually. <laughs> that, now there's an save idea. some time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Greg, thank you. As thank always. you. Everyone, please do always drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.